One of the most fun modules to have fun with is the Videos and Pictures module. Here at Video and Pictures, you can post classroom videos, YouTube videos, Picasso web, web albums, and, and even pictures right off your computer. So once again, you could edit the page and change the text within this area. But instead, this is the first time we're really just going to add stuff. So let's say you've taken a, a video of something that's happened in your school. So you might want to put a headlight or, uh, or something like that in there, and you'll say uh, track meet highlights. I was lucky enough to be able to coach track for a, a large portion of my career. And maybe I'd like to have a different font on there. Maybe I'd like to bold it, make it real big again. And so I've got track meet highlights. So at this point, you probably would want to get rid of some of this stuff. Be careful not to get rid of your picture. And so once again, this is one of those things where you have to play around with. So we're going to get rid of that text. And we'll have track meet highlights. Then you'll be okay. You're back down. So that's a little trick in Google Sites. So we got track meet highlights. And I'd like to upload a video. All right. So I go to insert. And then I'm going to look for a video. YouTube. They've still got Google Video, although it's not used very much anymore. And I've got to find the URL. All right. So what I've done is on my desktop, I've got my TCA presentation files, and then I've got the YouTube track meet. And so that'll start up for us, and that'll get us that, that URL. Okay, so I've got the URL. I copy it. And then I go ahead and paste it into this box. And you can include the border around YouTube. Let's change the title. I'm going to track me. Highlights. And we'll click Save. Now, you've got your YouTube gadget here. And you can take a look at properties. And it brings up pretty much the same thing here. And you can remove it. You can center it. You can write, uh, justify it. You can do all sorts of things like that. So when I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to say save. And there I've got the track meet highlights. I can change the resolution up to 720. And so I've got the track meet highlights. If I click on YouTube, it takes me right to that video. So right within your page, you've got this of something that's highlighted in your class. Okay, so that's one way you can do things like that. I'm going to edit the page again, and I'm going to click. So my cursor's down here, and maybe I want to say eighth grade trip pictures. This picture in this case. And once again, I'm going to change that. Keep it pretty much the same here. And what I could do at this point Let's change that back. You see, it gets a little tricky with that. You just have to play with it. And so I'm going to insert. And this point, I want an image. And 
This is all I've got up here, not very exciting. I can choose a file. And so what I've got to do is go to my desktop and find the TCA presentation files. And I've got an eighth grade trip pictures when we went to Washington, D.C. And it was really good in the springtime, so you could peruse, go through all that stuff right there and, and sort of, I've always liked this picture. So it's uploading the Capitol building. I'm going to say OK. And if I click on it, I can left, center, right, small, medium, large, or original. And so that's how you get a picture up off your computer. And so now you've got a video from YouTube from your class. You've got a picture from your class. So let's cover one more thing. I'm going to edit. I'm going to go down here. And let's say we're going to put on a, a, an album of some sort. And that'll be obvious what we mean in just a second. Sometimes if you do that, click enter beforehand, then when you change this one, you're down here and you don't have to go through all that mess of rechanging the font. So hitting enter a few times, always a good idea. We've got Picasso Web Slideshow. And so I have to find the URL of my Picasso Web Album, right? So I'm going to go up over here, and I'm going to look for 8th grade trip 2007. I'm going to copy that URL, and then I'm going to paste it into that box. And I can go to Properties, and I could have made it bigger originally, but let's see what happens. There we go. So I've got a Google Slideshow. I click Save. And then you've got the Slideshow going, and you, it will switch for you with all these different slides. And so... This is how you put a Picasso web, web album into your Google Sites. So you can see, this is a fun one. Kids have a lot of fun with this. Teachers have a lot of fun with this. But there's all sorts of things you can put into the video, videos and pictures module.